Hi guys, update 1.26 is live and with this update we got a new track, Road Atlanta. This track was completely new for me so I went straight to the circuit experience and tried to learn it. At the beginning I was really struggling through the first section as I had no clue where the road goes after the next corner. But after about 300 kilometers I think I got a quite decent time of 116.2. Now I want to share my knowledge with you and decided to make a lap guide on this new track. In the first corner aim for the end of the wall on the left. When you approach the orange part lift your throttle and then immediately turn in and brake. The next corners are extremely tricky because you approach them blind reference point is this post on the right side. When this disappears, I lift the throttle and turn into the left. I start to brake a few meters after the curb starts on the left side. At the end of the curbs, turn right to make your car ready for the chicane. I used third gear and try to be as early as possible on throttle again. In the next left-hander, I lift my throttle a little bit to get closer to the left side of the track. Next corner is the most difficult in my opinion. At least it was the one I struggled the most. In bumper cam it's impossible to see the entry or apex of this corner. I don't really have a reference point here so you need to get a feeling when to turn in. On my run I was a little bit too early so I had to lift the throttle but it's possible to take this flat out when you nail it. Aim for the apex of the next curb, this is where you start to brake. Shift down to third gear and use as much track as possible on the outside of this corner. Be careful if you go too wide on this curb you will get disqualified. My next reference point is this white line. Braking point is about 20 meters before the line. Trail brake into the corner and get back on the throttle early again. I braked for the next corner when my third gear hit it its limiter. Next corner is getting tighter to the end, so you're going for a late apex and get some rotation into your car. I upshifted a little bit too early here, but shifting early in general is good at this combo. Don't over rev the car and shift at about 90 to 95% of what it could do. At the end of the straight, we start to break between the 200 board and the white line. Shift down to second gear to get some rotation into the car. It's important to get a good exit at the second part of the chicane. So I'll shift up to third gear and also lift the throttle a bit. Be careful to not lose your car on the curbs. After that, all we have to do is go full throttle to the finishing line. I hope you enjoyed this guide and if it helped you please let me know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more future videos.